Look who turned two months today. We just finished taking pictures. She's not having it again. Look at herself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I just too adorable, you guys. She is still adorable, okay? But how will she be adorable? Don't believe on her. Ada. Oh God. So guys, I am currently in the market with Adese. Hi. <laughs> and um yeah. I like this armor here too because we buy everything literally white seated in the in car. The car. Yeah. It's so much fun. I'm sure if you already know this market and we've ordered is it ordered? We've told them Sha to bring what we want them to bring. They are cutting Ugu for me and I'm buying um okra. I want to make okra soup. And yes, Adeze is here. From here, we are going to go and blend Adana's dawa. Oh, oh, I've actually not told you guys. Adana is two months today. Yes, you guys have seen that clip already before now. So she's officially going to start solid today. I'm starting her on solid food, which is dawa. I will show you guys later and um, I'll show you guys the whole blending process, what the dawa looks like and why I normally start my kids on solid at two months. But I'll give you guys all that story later. But for now, we're in the market. After this, we're going to go and blend the, the dawa. Where is you? <laughs> is that like, what our market? Okay. Is. <laughs> this is our market. You guys already know. Sometimes when I bring a camera in this market, I'm like, ah, what can you be there me? <laughs> Don't get my bum bum. <laughs> That's what this vegetable woman told me the last time. <laughs> so guys, this is what Adana's hood looks like. So I have three things in here that I mix together and blend. So the first one is yellow corn, which you guys can clearly see. And then the brown one is um, the guinea corn, which is the dawa. That's the brown one, the medium-sized one. And the tiny white one you guys are looking at is the millet. So I usually blend these three things together to make her food, which is what I normally start for my kids at two months. So I went with a bag of pure water for them to use and wash the machine before I use it. The looks of this is very discouraging but if you're Nigerian you're very very much used to this. Um, it always looks this way and it blends it very fast and very well. So this is how we normally blend things in Nigeria whether it's tomatoes, peppers, um, yeah things like this. As you guys can see she just poured the food inside the blender. I don't know what this is actually called. I know it's a blender, grinder, whatever, but I don't know if it has a traditional name. And I was helping her out to do it. And yeah, you pour the food inside. Then you have to put a bucket where you want it to enter. She first of all put her bucket, which I didn't want her to use. I had to remove it and put the pot that I came with so that the food would go directly into the pot. And this, yeah, let me just let you guys watch the process.
so you guys this is where we pour it as you guys have been seeing so this was the third round i think we blended it a total of three times um so you pour it in here this big part on top and then it comes out from under as it's coming out and going right into the bucket and this thing blends this thing so smoothly it makes the job so much easier if i was to use my blender to blend this it would have taken hours like literally it would have taken hours because you're supposed to blend it to be so smooth so this is a faster process i know this blender looks very dirty but trust me it's not um it's just old okay i'm sure they've had this blender for years upon years it's just old and yeah this is how we blend um big things in nigeria like when something is a lot it's easier to just go and blend it with these people and it was very cheap it cost me 400 naira to do everything that i did that day so to blend the whole thing was just 400 naira which is literally a dollar like just a little bit above one dollar this is what it looks like when you're done blending so after this part we're just going to go home and continue You guys look at monkey this is where we came to blend um adana stuff we just finished blending by the way like you guys just saw this is what it looks like but don't be discouraged okay <laughs> don't be discouraged everything was actually really neat um yeah if you're nigerian you already know that this is how how we blend stuff for moi moi like beans for moi moi um and things like this so guys basically this is the one that we blended so you take this out of here put some on here then you pour water while you try to sieve it through okay so you just keep sieving it till you get a shaft like this that means all the nutrients are gone and in the bucket ogaka ogaka mm. you're eating bread you're eating bread <laughs> so guys this is the finished product okay this um after the party people saw yesterday where we were sieving it we basically just finished sieving it and let it sit inside a cloth so that um all the water will just drip out i don't know i'm sure if you've done this before you understand what i'm saying but yes this is it it's inside this big rubber then i have some here as well and little inside here so i've already made this one for her this morning she'll start from this one so by the time this one is done, we'll enter this one. And when this one is done, we'll be defrosting this one little by little and be bringing out. But yes, this is going to be her solid food from today. So basically, the plan is she'll take breast milk first thing in the morning, then maybe take dawad, her solid food, and then after that, she'll drink milk, then breast milk, then that, then sha. You guys already get it. So she's going to be taking all three, formula, breast milk, and dawa. But in the night, we'll use only dawa just because it will make her sleep better and longer even though she's really doing very well right now yesterday night she slept around seven and she didn't open her eyes till this morning literally this morning around seven or eight so adana is doing amazing right now and yeah i'm so happy that i started solid food for her her brothers equally started eating solid food at two months so all my kids start solid food at two months and it's something i've been doing and i do not plan to stop it anytime soon so i'm so happy that adana has joined her brothers okay i know that some people don't give solid food till six months some people do exclusive some people even do longer than that but this is my choice it's what i've done for my other two kids and it works very well for me there's nothing wrong with it some people actually start giving their kids dawa from the very day they are born okay not everybody can afford milk in nigeria when you go to villages where people can afford milk they actually give their kids this from day one they just make it very watery so there's nothing wrong with this because i know some people be concerned oh she's only two months but you have nothing to worry about she's fine yes yeah, so guys that is basically what adana will be taking now most of the time you make it exactly the same way you make pap if you know how to make pap it's exactly the same way but because adana is still very young i make it like pap and i put it back on fire and just let it boil a while why turning it if you don't turn it at its on fire is just going to form seeds everywhere so you want to be turning it as it's on fire and after that i put it in her flask i normally make the one that lasts for 
24 hours i'm sure you guys will see it in my vlog from now on but yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video and i actually enjoyed making this video i i enjoy being involved in this whole process of making the food for my child because i know that a lot of people actually buy this from the market and just give it to their kids but i generally enjoy doing this for my child so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys are all doing fine don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe like comment and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next one